Hi, I'm Tom from Dignity Lifts. I'm going to show you how to install our deluxe lift, the DL1, onto a toilet. Um, we need some tools for it. I have some rubber gloves because sometimes you're dealing with other people's toilets, so that's nice, and some wipes. I also have a tape measure. I've got a pair of pliers. Sometimes you need a large slotted screwdriver for the toilet seat. That's pretty common. And then you're going to need the Allen wrench that came with your dignity lift. So, first step, we're going to match the height of the bowl. See the lip on this bowl is about 17 and a quarter inches. And we're going to adjust the dignity lift height so that that 17 and a quarter inches is between here and here. The lower lift, lip of the chute and the front lift here. So, um, depends on how the person wants, wants it to be. Most people like the lift to be as low as possible when they're going to the bathroom. High toilet seats and high toilets make it tough to go to the bathroom. So you want to give people as much sort of, I don't know, bathroom assistance as possible. So uh, the way you adjust the height of your dignity lift, because we're going to need about uh, a little more than about three eighths of an inch. So we're going to unscrew the feet. So you can tilt up the lift like so, and you just unscrew here. I um, count. Count how many turns each one's going to go, and then I'll check my height. And pretty close. Let's do the back and see how she turns out. be nice and steady. The reason people have these things is because they want you to support them. They want it to be as sturdy as possible. Uh, we're still at about 17. We're going to go a little higher. So the dignity lift can go from uh, the shortest toilets down to 14 inches, which is what toilets used to be in yesteryear, all the way up to the tall comfort height ones that they make today for um, like handicap restrooms and like that. Um, we're in a facility today, so the 17 incher is pretty tall. Um, this is a handicap accessible room. So, uh, so you, in, in that type of room, you would expect to have these taller toilet heights. So, there we go. There we go. We're about 17 and a half. So we've got our height right. Next thing we're gonna do is take off the old toilet seat, mm -hmm. which is actually a little easier than you'd think. Um, toilet seats are usually just put on almost hand tight, and they usually have like a nylon fastener. Sometimes you have to flip up a connection here and find a screw head. This one doesn't have that, it just has a one piece. It's even easier. So really, the only tool I'm gonna need, and it's also very clean, so I don't need to use my wipes this time. I'm just going to use my pliers. They're going to get under here and just turn the bolts to loosen. Once I get it started, it usually comes right off. On these bolts, in most modern toilets, are going to be nylon, so they're not rusty or anything like that. They're about as easy as it gets, honestly. And then just kind of unscrew them both. Try not to remember that you have your face over the toilet. That's not really, you know. And then get both unscrewed. Got one, see, nylon bolt. It's actually a nice long one too. It makes it even easier to work with. This is one. This one. This toilet seat was easy to remove. There we go. Two, and then. Pulls right off. Um, you definitely want to keep this for whoever, you know, the homeowner is, um, you know, for when they, if they want to move to the, to move the dignity lift to a different bathroom, or if they, you know, recover from surgery or something like that, and they want to, um, you know, go back to the regular toilet seat. So now we've got our toilet ready to go. I'm actually going to take a wipe 
and uh, wipe down the spot that I just exposed that no one could clean before. You know, it's nice to do a thorough job. And then, and then, uh, we'll clean, maybe underneath as well. So, over there. So, now, we're gonna lift our dignity lift into place. And we're gonna try to get the rubber pieces to go right into those holes. There we go. And over. Usually land the first one first and then tilt it so the second one goes in second. There we go. Like so. There we go. You can see we got a little clearance here, but the chute is inside the bowl. And then uh, our, our lift, uh, we can adjust to be nice and steady. And we're going to adjust the two plugs that secured in place in the back. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so you get this piece is gonna go underneath and you poke it through the hole. Like that. Then this piece, you gotta find the center of that and you gotta screw it in. Some toilets are thicker than others, so the bowl can be kind of long, but you get it. You get a chance to put it down. Like so. There you go. So I'm checking my lip for wobbles. You know, the floor around uh, the toilet can be a little uneven especially because there's usual moisture involved. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise up the toilet. Just a little bit. And pull off this plastic tube piece. And I'm gonna tighten these two screws down here. They're just gonna solidify, um, just tighten everything, lock everything down so that nothing shifts or moves when a person with limited mobility is using the dignity lift. You know, this thing is going to be nice and steady, secure, and it's going to help people get back up on their feet. So that's what we do here at Dignity Lifts. We make a nice product that will help you stand up for yourself. This is Tom from DignityLifts.com. You can find our products at DignityLifts.com and at medical retailers as well. So um, we really want to keep you safe from bathroom falls. This is our deluxe lift, the model DL1. I'm my personal favorite of the bunch, I think. It uh, looks sleek, uses a, either a rechargeable battery or plug-in power, or plug-in power with a rechargeable battery backup. Um, works with almost all toilets, easy to clean, and it'll go about 150 to 200 lifts on a charge. So definitely a reliable product. Thanks for watching.